Hello world, I'm here with Ben Adams at Lost Coast Woodwork and Design where I've been using his giant shop bot to make uh, really big parts for a uh, big machine I'm building. Thanks a lot to Ben for giving me access to his machine. My pleasure, absolutely um, brilliant. The, these were two parts will make the top and bottom part the skins of a uh, torsion box construction for the bed of the machine. You will have integrated helical racks that we milled here with a V-bit. Uh, it has indexing surfaces for vertical walls. The vertical walls will hold the uh, linear rails and everything should be quite parallel and easy to mount. Um, there's a ton of, ton of holes for bolts. The other part has actually threaded holes, tapped M5 holes that the machine uh, milled for us. So that's 240 holes I didn't have to drill or tap myself thanks to using the CNC. What's pretty cool is that uh, Ben Adams, he had never used uh, milling machines before in his production and then he came to the fab lab that I created with colleagues in Oslo called Felleswerkstede and as part of a non-profit activity in the fab lab then what we you know, do is give people access to, to machines and training and how to use them. So Ben used the shop bots for a lot of professional big scale productions and he realized this is such a critical technology, he needed to get a machine for his own business which is sort of like a graduation, so that's just awesome. Uh, and uh, thanks to him then maxing out getting the extra large uh, machine, I could uh, you know, mill this 1.4 meter wide sheets in, in one pass. And, um, uh, and, uh, but they, they are very long, they're 3.6 meter long, so I actually had to index the parts and shift them to do it in two parts. So not ideal for precision, but very interesting from sort of a technique perspective, like how can we make uh, machines that are equally big as the machines that make them and you know the axis of a machine always needs to be longer than the work area and in this case uh, uh, indexing with dowel pins and careful testing was the, was the way to go because I wanted the torsion box skins to be single pieces instead of overlapping pieces that can shift and add complexity I wanted to, to see if we could do it as simple as possible. So the, the rest of the machine will be built with the same construction. The gantry and, and Z towers will also be torsion box construction. So stay put for more updates. This machine is gonna do large scale 3D printing combined with machining. So printing rough with recycled plastics and then milling for precision as well as uh, being a sort of all around experimental platform for automation research and so on. So the, the files are on GitHub already, work in progress, very early, be careful because they're not tested yet, but you can download and study and contribute to the design there. If you appreciate the knowledge that I share and the work that I do, you can support me on Patreon and stay up, uh, tuned for more updates.